Here is the picture I took from last week. I am starting my contest prep and it is 27 weeks out. And I'm pretty excited about this because my condition right now for contest prep is looking really good. It's probably looking the best that it's been in a while. And I'm actually pretty excited about that. So that's also why I think this contest prep is gonna be really good. So this is a picture of the front I think what I need to bring up that I haven't been working on would be my calves. I don't do calves, but I only do it when I'm getting ready for a contest prep to get them to blow up. So that's that. All right, and now we focus on the back, which is looking really good. Like I said, this is going to be a really nice prep. Everything is looking nice, thick, solid. Just need some calves, so I'm going to hit that up pretty much every day. With that said, let's start the training video, shall we? All right, it's um, my shoulder day today. And as usual, I start my exercise, my workouts with a warm-up set, which is what this is. This is about three to four warm-up sets. I start with 15, 10, five, and a single. And then the single is kind of going to be my working set. And then from that point on, I go to my heavy work sets. I'm doing one heavy work set and then I'm doing a back down that's going to be 10 to 15 plus reps. The first set is going to be like 6 to 8 just to get some um, strength in there and then like the next set's going to be like more hypertrophy based. So um, that yeah I mean it's nice hitting shoulders again because it's been so long. You guys have to also realize that like when I'm doing these sets, it's hard for me to remember the numbers. So I usually like film myself so I can remember my reps so I can kind of like keep track of it because when I'm when I'm training, I'm just I'm just in the mood and I can't really think except like I need to hit this amount of reps here and there or more or less. So I get a little bit of a brain fog um, when I'm training. If you're ever around me when I work out, you can tell because I can't seem to remember anything at all. So that was just the brief example of what the warm-up sets are. So to kind of go by it once again, I started off with a 45 on each side. I did that for, I think, 15 reps. And then right after that, I went up to a 45 and a 25 on each side. 
and I did that for roughly I think 10 and then after that I went up to 200 on the Smith and then I hit that for a decent three and then after I was done I went straight to my um, working set which was 180 so the weight went down because I felt like 200 was a little bit too heavy that extra 20 pounds on that uh, Smith machine was a little too much and I didn't want to sacrifice my technique I didn't want to sacrifice being able to actually feel the muscle the mind muscle connection and all that stuff on there so I decided to just be like you know what I'm gonna drop it down 20 pounds and it just so happened I was able to focus a lot more on the mind muscle connection that way get those good um, stretch get the squeeze kind of feel the muscle working and it ended up being actually a lot difficult than it is I think this is also the one thing that I think most people have to kind of consider is that when you're training you're not training for the idea that you're going to get stronger through like a power lifting mentality you're training for the purpose of hypertrophy and that involves um being able to feel the muscle while you're working it by lowering the weight where you feel like you're comfortable where the weight is e it's manageable for you to handle but it's not so heavy to the point where you're only getting like two to three reps you want to be able to get like a good six 10 plus reps out of your sets and you want it to look very difficult you want to be able to like struggle a little towards the end that is the intensity aspect of it so now with that all said and that's done the rest i'm going to show you is just going to be no voiceover just straight up with just the workout and some good music i'm a i'm a big fan of female vocals when it comes to EDM and stuff like that, so I decided to pick today's music to be that. Um, you guys have fun. Delighted to fly on a look, what fuel?